This video was made in partnership with Loom Network, the next generation blockchain application platform for Ethereum. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your smart contracts to the Loom Plasma Chain mainnet. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification icon so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is head over to the Loom Developer Dashboard. Once there, you'll be greeted with three options for logging in, Ledger, MetaMask, or Trezor. If you don't already have an account, you'll be greeted with a prompt asking if you have a Relentless Marketplace account. If you do, you can go ahead and link that account. If you don't know what that is or don't have an account, you can just create a brand new account. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to go down to the developer section and click on deploy to plasma chain. At the time of this recording, it costs 1400 Loom or approximately $99 per year to deploy. If you don't already have Loom, you're going to want to deposit some Loom from the Ethereum mainnet onto the Loom plasma chain mainnet. Click on the deposit more Loom to plasma chain button and follow the instructions. Once you have enough Loom deposited to the Plasma Chain, you're going to want to create a deployment key. Return back to the Deploy to Plasma Chain tab under the Developer section. Then click Generate New Key. A window should pop up and you should see a 12-word recovery phrase. Make sure you copy this 12-word recovery phrase and keep it in a safe place. If you lose this, you will not be able to deploy to the Loom Plasma Chain. After you've copied down the 12-word recovery phrase and stored it in a safe place, Click the checkbox and then click Done. Select Tier 1 1400 Loom and then click Add Key. Follow the instructions and then you should have a newly whitelisted Loom public key. To test this, I've created an empty directory called Plasma Chain and then I created a, a simple truffle project using truffle init. The empty project comes with a migrations contract, which is pretty much useless by itself, but we can use it to test that our code can deploy to the Loom Plasma Chain mainnet. Next, we want to use Yarn or NPM to install Loom Truffle Provider, Loom JS, JS SHA-256, and BIP-39. Next, we'll copy our 12-word recovery phrase into a file called Loom underscore mnemonic. Now we can edit our truffle-config.js file. We can add our required dependencies. Next, we can read in the 12-word recovery phrase from our loom underscore mnemonic file. After that, we can create our default config object with our network's property and a property called loom underscore mainnet. This will be the network we're going to deploy to. In our provider property function, we will set up our chain ID, which will be default, and our write and read URL for the plasma chain mainnet. Next, we can create a seed using the mnemonic to seed function. Then we can create a private key from that seed using crypto tills from the Loom.js library. Then we can convert that private key to base64, also using crypto utils. Then we return a new Loom truffle provider with the chain ID, write URL, read URL, and the private key in base64. We can set our network ID to the wildcard operator. And as of this recording, the Loom Plasma Chain mainnet does not support any smart contracts compiled with anything higher than the 0.4 series of Solidity. This will change in the near future, but for now we will set our compiler's property and tell Sol C to be version 0.4.25. Now that everything's configured, we can run Truffle Deploy and set the network to Loom underscore mainnet. If everything's configured correctly, you should have your smart contract deployed to the Loom Plasma Chain mainnet in just a few moments. And that's it. That's how easy it is to deploy a smart contract to the Loom Plasma Chain mainnet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them down below. And just as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.